Mustafa. Oh, hi. Can you show us your experiment, please? Oh, this is so cool. This thing is so cool. I've never even seen it in my life. Hey guys, it's me, Mustafa from the Learning Wizard. And today I'm going to show you how to make this Stein's experiment called gravity versus magnetic force. This, as you can see, is holding the magnet in the air. I mean the paper clip in the air while the string is holding it. And there is a rock that is putting the weight down on the string. So you can see it's floating in the air. But you might see this is photoshopped. To be to be true, it is not. So to prove, let me show you. What you have to do when you are doing, you have to try and find the perfect length. So the perfect height of the string so that it can grow up and stay up like this i put it up and then i let it go it stays in the air up down up down up and down now these magnets need to be really strong for this project to work because i don't have strong enough magnets i he used multiple fridge magnets and a really strong magnet to get the force perfect. If you, if that is the same case with you, just do what I did. If that is not the same case with you, if you have strong enough magnets, only use one or maybe two. What you need for this is a piece of string, a paper clip, you need a few fridge magnets if you do not have str a strong enough magnet. And they and you need some heavy weight. In this case, it is a the rock that I am using that is very heavy. You also need a ruler which you can use to stick the magnets and some tape on the ruler and something that can weigh that can hold the ruler up such as these line of blocks just a thing for you to know if you ever have a few seconds then what you can do is that you can get two magnets you can get two magnets then you have to hold them closer and you'll feel a force that is that feels like they are trying to pull each other together and once you let them go the hand that you let go with that magnet will go also did you know that newton um newton discovered gravity before people thought anything that stayed that was in the air would stay but newton discovered that that wasn't true he he held something and then he dropped it down and then you see it falls down such as this magnet here it doesn't stay in the air like it does in space. Can you show the gravity with the string? Gravity pull, gravitational pull. This is so this... The this, uh, clip will go down. The clip will go down, but if, there is if, no they have, uh, if it's in nose, if it's in space, there you can see it will just stay floating in the air like this which i can't show obviously because i am on earth and in earth it will go down but if we are using magnets then the magnetic force will win over the gravitational force but if we are in space the grav 
there will be no gravity, so it will stay floating. Yes. Um, and on Earth, what we are doing is that we are using because magnetic on Earth, force. There is gravity. Mm -hmm. We are using magnetic force, mm -hmm. and we are, and it is dropping down and swinging like this. If there is no magnetic force, and if there is magnetic force, then it will suspend in the air, as you will show me again now. Can you show me? So if it is being held by a magnetic force, like it is over here. Cool, you did it. So it's pulling it, but at the same time, we're using the way we're doing this is we're using the we're using the magnetic uh, force upside down and we're making it half of it stay up but the other half is staying down so then it makes it stay in the middle motionless so it's suspended in the air it, it is suspended in the air isn't this cool and the only way you can make it move is by hitting the surface or you can move it yourself that was really cool mustafa thank you for sharing the experiment with us well, that's the end of today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until then, it's me, Mustafa, from Learning Wizard. Bye-bye.